What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Well, Joe Biden delivered his State of the Union speech, and needless to say, the grand old party didn't care for it, especially Marjorie Morningstar. But Marjorie isn't the only sperm cell from hell. Beelzebub Bobert from Colorado's 3rd Congressional District is living proof that it's not always the smartest drop of high fructose porn syrup that wins the race. <laughs> And Ted Cruz also had a negative review. It was the most out-of-touch State of the Union speech I have ever heard. Well, we have thing one and thing two, so I guess that makes Ted the fat in the hat. But at least old Raphael waited until after the president was done speaking to offer his undesired critiques. Lobotomy Bobert, Marjorie Morningstar, adult women in Congress, literally heckled the president while he gave his speech. But if we've learned anything from their time in Congress, it's that unnecessary noise is their specialty. Marjorie wore an ill-fitted scarlet dress. She'll do anything to hide that scarlet letter on her chest. And her bedraggled blonde hair framed her nicotine-stained face. What a handsome woman. Too bad she isn't drop-dead gorgeous. She, of course, made faces and moaned and groaned throughout the speech, particularly at just about any mention of anything that fought against COVID. But Lauren, well... She may have put an end to that age-old saying that blondes have more fun. Lauren heckled Joe Biden all night, but in her defense, I don't even think she knows why she was there, what she was supposed to be doing. She did her best. But her good Judy Marjorie is a walking instructional guide on how to lose your committee assignments, and Lauren is following those steps perfectly. I hope. Lauren pulled out her little black dress for the occasion, and it was accompanied by a hideous shawl that said, Drill, baby, drill. <laughs> if you don't know, Lauren owns a restaurant in Colorado called Shooter's Grill. She works for tips there, but since she's married, just the tips. And be careful, boys. I hear she has derpies. <laughs> hmm? Oh, <laughs> The drill baby drill was in regards to Republicans pressuring Biden to roll back restrictions on domestic energy production and restart the Keystone pipeline. <laughs> Sorry, I thought she wanted more of those tips. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. So embarrassed that people like Lauren and Marjorie are in Congress. Both of them started chanting, build the wall when Biden was talking about immigration. But Lauren took over but when she heckled Joe Biden as he spoke about the flag draped coffins of fallen service members. She shouted that Biden is the one who put the soldiers in the flag draped coffins, all while the president was talking about his veteran son dying of cancer and how it potentially could have been due to burn pits. Now, I can't predict the future, but I have a feeling that Lauren and Marjorie are going to spend their afterlife burning in a pit. <laughs> well, that's all for today. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you're a heckling hag.